What is going on, Punk Nation, and welcome back to another warehouse video. Today we're at the Jack Daniel um, whiskey distillation. Getting set up here to load in our trucks. Or load in our trailers, I should say. Gotta get the other beer factory running soon, but focusing on one at a time. Hope you guys enjoyed the Coca-Cola time-lapse one, but today we're going to be talking instead and showing you kind of the ropes. So this is a container edition um, forklift. Cork, have it down in the description below of all the warehouse videos. Fits very nicely. So I just used the uh, Trainable Bonnings uh, trailer. The auto load feature just to bring them up here to why waste time hauling them up one by one and really you don't need to if you saw in the coca-cola one you don't really need to spread the fork wide because of these collisions yeah just keeping it stock really all you need to do and i can move the forks from left to right so let's get to loading I hope you guys enjoyed the mod spotlight of mod, uh, showcasing all the, the trailer in the warehouse. Get these off to the other warehouse. Uh, the new warehouse, I don't know what's going to go in there. And then I have another one that's placeable by GE. And I need to put it in this map that looks really cool. So having these production mods has definitely uh, increased the video production on my warehouse videos. If you guys don't know, I originally started this in FF15, and I do believe I was the first one. So I know Square tried making some, which he did a pretty good job. So I don't think it was his little forte there, his cup of tea. I enjoy this, it's pretty fun. Obviously, I work in a logistics company, which is UPS, which is called Warehouses. Companies, if you guys don't know, so FedEx, I think you can call the Postal Service, any warehouse company is a logistics, so they move packages. So, by working there, I get the punch to actually do this, but pretty fun actually. I'm hoping to get the multiplayer server running. I've just been very busy and it's going to be busy for the next three weeks so this is the time of year to make money at UPS. But I think I might have another server that I just found. So he does a lot of production stuff and he'd actually get into that. But when I was talking to him, it was in my little vacation. So I didn't have a computer in hand. So let me know in the comments below if you guys use a gaming laptop and what gaming laptop you use. Uh, there's been some pretty good deals around the holidays. There was a Dell that had this is a 2080 uh, GeForce in it for like 800 bucks. I think it was like 900 bucks. I wish I bought it, but missed the sale. So I'm not too serious right now. About the only thing I'm serious right now is saving up for a truck, which I think I'm gonna have a decent amount of money come summer. Fully buy out a truck, which I think is probably the smartest move in today's world. Been a long. Let's see. I've been saving up for. It'd probably be about five years. Five years in August. So this next, this next August. That's pretty simple to load these trailers up. You got to be careful. Especially the Coca-Cola one, 
have a lot of collision, these don't look like they do. And then if you guys notice on my frames uh, per second there, the frame rate, uh, I was doing really good at the uh, at the Coca-Cola factory, so uh, I appreciate the modder that made the Coca-Cola factory. Um, I don't know if these are all, I don't know if these the same for every all the mods, but for the Coca-Cola factory, it didn't matter how many pallets I had sitting there, I was at 60 frames per second. So that just goes to show if you actually care about your mods, and this is for all modders, if you can run your mods at 60 frames per second, this is not really the highest end computer ever. You know, it's an i5 with the GeForce 960, 4 gigs of RAM on the car itself. You know, it's not a very high end PC, so to run 60 frames per second, have that many pallets there, it's pretty damn good. And that just goes to show take care of all your errors, make stuff not lag, and if you claim that your stuff isn't lag, it's lag free, I'm going to test it, so, I know Wood Metal Farms is probably the biggest guy that claims that his stuff isn't laggy, and claims that, you know, it'll work better with, you know, mods, but here's the thing, that Coca-Cola factory is running 60 frames per second, it's working with all those mods, these trailers, this forklift, very nicely, but if you remember from past videos, the wood metal farm stuff does not really work well with other mods. It will conflict, it will do anything possible to ruin your day. And then all of a sudden, like maybe a month later, it, it doesn't really want to work at all. So it just goes to show, if you can actually make your mod work with how many mods are out there by now, probably over thousands of mods, you're a pretty good modder. But if you want to sit there and claim that, oh, my mods are working, but we're all coming with proof that it's not working. And the biggest downfall with this mods is the only way they're going to be working with mods is if you use the basic maps. Who wants to be stuck on the basic maps when there's plenty of other maps, such for the one that we're on right now? So it just goes to show, if you take time to do stuff right, you're obviously going to get recognition. So hats off to this modder, I need to especially look his name up, but it's amazing that he got these pallets to work. I think there's a fix for the Pepsi factory because I was lagging pretty hard. Probably not even half of the pallets, if you watch the, the production video of the Coca-Cola factory, not even half of those pallets I had for the Pepsi factory, and I was lagging balls. <laughs> it would like freeze my game for like literally five minutes, and that's without the recorder on. Just imagine with the recorder. I would definitely say if you have a gaming PC and you're only running 8 gigs of RAM, I would highly suggest stepping up to 16. Make sure you buy them the right RAM, make sure your motherboard can support it very simple, it would say right on the website where you bought it. Having more RAM than 8 gigs is probably the best thing you can do. And having enough memory too, like solid gate drives will help. Looks like, yeah, these don't really have any collision like the Coca-Cola ones. Well, that's not a big deal. But thank you guys for the awesome support on November. That was one of the best months, probably since the beginning of last year. So, we got some awesome content coming. We're waiting for an awesome 3D printer to be released. Hopefully, it's going to be awesome. Version 2 should be a lot better. It's got great potential. But if it all fails, I'll just go get the Ender for 300 bucks, and then I'm going to have to get another machine for the CNC router. Uh-oh. I think I overweight the trailer. So we just have to pick ourselves out. Do 
doing that stupid hop and skip thing. Alright, we'll get this last pallet in, we'll strap her down and head to the first warehouse that we have in FS19. Uh, let's keep going. Let's just fill her up. Might as well. But these production mods are amazing, so I hope you guys enjoy them too. I'll try to link some down in the description below. I hope you guys have a good Christmas season. Stay safe out there while you're shopping. Hope you guys had a safe Thanksgiving plus Black Friday. Wasn't too hectic when I went out, but of course I didn't go out at 5 a.m. I went out more like 10 a.m. Didn't really need any door busters at 5. And now I'm looking on Amazon.com as we speak before I go to work today because it is Cyber Monday, so... Hope you guys took part in that too. Had some really good deals on there. Pretty nice. Too bad I missed most of them because I work at 2 p.m. So I don't have an access to a phone. I will set this hopefully last one in and then we'll head off to the warehouse. Well, let me guys know if you guys like time lapse for this type of series or some good talking videos or it just depends what we do. Do a little bit of bow. And then especially with these trailers having the ramps, it'll be easier. Uh, deliveries. Probably be using the pubs more. Alright, let's head to the warehouse. Actually, I gotta remember which road to take. I will just head that Head down that way. There's all the Jack Daniel whiskeys. Load it up. You can see the ramps on this trailer. Never know, we may have to use this trailer for a big drop off. There's going to be a lot of deliveries. We're going to be doing uh, deliveries to mechanic shops with the engine. We got those cool pallet racks. If you guys didn't see the mod spotlight, definitely go check that out with those movable pallet racks. Uh, you can fold them down into a pallet and move them around. Nice realistic braking. These are really nice trucks. See the warehouse off to the right. There's one big warehouse, and then the other warehouse is by Field 16, which is in the lower uh, left hand corner, just above the forest. And I have another one from, uh, I think it was one of the trucking games, but you have to put in as a GE, and it's a, it's a smaller facility, so we'll probably use it for some stuff. Maybe be a warehouse for some of these buildings. So 
So here's the unloading docks, which we're currently full right now. So we're gonna go put this out in the out in the yard. We're gonna keep the reefer on. Somebody will check up on it, but it'll probably be unloaded within the next couple hours. Need to record that unloading video. There you go. If you guys haven't seen the building, I'll give you guys a quick little tour, and then we'll finish up the video. So if you guys seen an FS-15, we've done the same thing. We'll drag everything out to here, put it in this area right here. It's kind of like a walkway, but it'll be within that area. So we have all the pallets. We have a lot of Coca-Cola. I did a separate video a um, couple hours before the iconic upgrade trailers were released. So I have that video, I may save that video, maybe do like a mega um, loading video or something, so that will be combined. And then we have this video that we already recorded and loaded. Square these trailers up a little bit. Perfect. So, all loaded up, and then we take it out to here, and then we will bring it in and organize it. I don't know how I'm going to organize it just yet. So we got a couple bays. I might section one of these bays to obviously cold items. And then this bay is for like bigger items. Maybe some cars we can put in here. So thank you guys so much for supporting every video that I post. Hope you guys enjoy the 5Ms uh, videos. We're putting some more content, more variety on the channel. If you guys have any, any games that you guys want me to play, seriously, put it down in the comments below. I take any suggestions. If you want to play Goat Simulator to Farming Simulator to GTA 5, I'll play pretty much anything. And look at this, 60 frames per second in here. That's what I like about the Coca-Cola factory. You guys can make your mods do that just like the Coca Cola Factory. You'll be probably one of the best modders out there. So, even the trailers. So, good job on Iconic Upgrades and the original author of these trailers. Don't remember your name. But, yep, if you can run 60 frames per second, it doesn't matter what computer you run, you're a good modder. So, always have testers to make your stuff work awesome. Just don't assume that it works only on your PC. See you guys later. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you want to see this channel grow, all you got to do is like, tell your friends, share the video, recommend it to people. Things will improve. See you guys later.